And hello, everybody. This is Real Honesty with Jar Rithlin. I'm Jar Rithlin. That is a man whose mind has been blown dude, thoroughly. Dude, you have stuff sticking out of the back of your That's your action figures back there. Yes. <clears throat> so, right, yes. Anyway, uh, Survivor Series is over a lot sooner than we guessed. God damn it, Chris. <laughs> over a lot sooner. That was, um, that was something. We're going to go through it step by step, bit by bit, storm by storm. Lita looked really rough. My God. Oh, God. I mean, her, her, her boobs look nice. That's about it. <clears throat> I, I what? Swear, I, I mean, swear she was wasted throughout the entire show, which is probably the only way you'd get through Survivor Series. It was also the only way you could deal with King and his shirts. Oh, God. I mean... King, King went through a swim through Andre 3000's dumpster and found, out, found some new clothes. Uh, so he was sorry, Miss Jackson. He is for real. Yes. He was from Outcast, right? I was really afraid I had screwed that reference up, like, massively. Oh, God. Wow, I never heard that from another guy. Um, <clears throat> now, that was funny, though. Owens and Jericho doing the whole thing with Tom Phillips, or Phil, as they kept calling him. 6969, that's disgusting. That was gold. Owens and Jericho. It is, it is always amazing watching Owens, because he is by far the best heel in he, the WWE. He really is. I mean, I really enjoyed that. It's like, that was tremendous, though. Jericho and Owens were brilliant. That was fantastic stuff. We actually got a couple pre-show matches, unannounced. Woo! And one ended up being a pretty good match. Um... Swans, Perkins, and Dar versus Dar. <laughs> Every time he does that, again. versus Drew Gulag, um, Gulag. I'm kidding. Davari and Tony Nice. It was good. Oh, Denise. <laughs> it's it's Tony Denise. That's not so bad. What he named a boy, the nephew. Anyway, <laughs> boy. That was a fun cruiserweight matchup. That was really yeah. good stuff. Except for Swan kind of hopping around too much and botching the end. Because yeah. he kind of caught Davari in the throat. Yeah, but the cruiserweights <laughs> are always entertaining to watch. It's just pure action. You don't need any story. With I it. mean, you don't if you don't at times, but you kind of need to develop a little more character. Because otherwise they're just going to be what they were in WCW, which was putting a ceiling on them. So eventually they're going to get to where... You know what I mean. Sorry, I'm just thinking of these, these guys jumping in the air. There's just a low ceiling. <laughs> Ow! Uh, anyway. Well, B Finn Balor actually did that in NXT show. Like, there were tile, like, you know, like the, you know, balsa wood type tiles. And he actually bonked his head into them trying to do the coup de grace. So anyway, but still a fun cruiserweight opener. I yeah. thought it was good. Kane versus Luke Harper. Why? I mean, why? Two things. Why did this match happen? Why did Har uh, Kane beat Harper? Exactly. It's exactly it. You've got plenty of talent in Luke yeah. Harper. This guy that... Plenty it's scary balls. watching him move because you feel like his weight would crush his legs. Yeah. And honestly, he's agile. He's strong. Yeah. Kane should be on his way out towards management. Kane, Kane is, well, I mean, he's trying to run politics for a second. Kane, um, don't get me wrong, 49 can move really well. Yeah. Harper, my only concern with Harper is that he's developing a huge bald spot. It's a huge bald spot. Huge. Eat. Anyway, so <laughs> we were... We were, we're doing the biggest bold spots. We were doing at least 40% of the show, I swear. But, yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Tons of potential Luke Harper. And it kind of just squashed the whole thing of him returning. Like, that whole thing of him returning, at no mercy, did nothing. It's like, yeah. really? I mean, that's it? That's what you do? Yeah. So, I mean, what it was, it was a match. It wasn't horrible. It was nice to see Harper show agility. Same with Kane. I don't know how Kane's able to do anything agile near Oh, Kane is able? Uh I did make that joke without noticing, didn't I? You did. I did. I did. I that was good stuff. Um, so we move on to the main show. Well, on to the show. <clears throat> oh, we are the chorus. We hope you like our show. Yeah, I know. No, 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 I, didn't. no. I didn't. Women's match: Team Raw versus Team S T D S D. I mean, um, Bailey. That was horrible. Bailey, yeah. Alicia, Nia. That was terrible. Hope that joke doesn't spread. Bailey, Alicia, Nia, Sasha, and Charlotte with Dana. Nia's an impressive brand of semi, apparently. I mean, this is true. I mean, here's my question: Did they take two? Did they take two raw shirts and sew them together? <clears throat> well, I mean, <laughs> they kind of had to. Probably. Possible. I mean, they did. They had to jack it up a bit. Versus Becky, Naomi, Alexa, Carmella. Nikki was out. Um, Natty stepped in. Who attacked Nikki? Well, it Nancy could be Kerrigan. <clears throat> Not Tanya Harding. <laughs> I mean, we could go with. I mean, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose we could go with that. We could go, why? Why? No, we cannot. Um, Natty could have attacked Nikki. 
Uh, shout out to Jeremy8911. He brought up the idea that it's possible Mickey James attack Mickey. I like that. Hopefully Mickey James comes to SmackDown. Because at least you'd be featured, unlike the three women they keep featuring on Raw, Bailey, Sasha, and Charlotte. You mean they have varying <coughs> talent? On Raw? I mean, they do. They just don't use it. Mm. On a three-hour show, imagine that concept. Okay, here's the thing that's surprising. Alicia being eliminated first for Raw didn't shock me. But Carmella being eliminated, I'm like, you know, Carmella's improved. She's not great, but still, really? And Naomi, with that count out, big, that count out loss was weak. That was weak. You could have had her pin. Yeah, it's just like, she, well, we got to have at least one count out. I mean, um, yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> you. I mean, it's like, it was, it was ridiculous. Um, Because Naomi has improved. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of her. Yeah. She's getting good reactions with her, you know, seizure-inducing rave entrance. Um, and she seems to be enjoying herself, so just... You could have had her seizure. <laughs> seizure powers, activate. Naomi, um, that would not be good. Uh, Naomi still had pretty good showing. Naya, yeah. um, Naya got eliminated early. I'm surprised Sasha got eliminated second, where I'm like, wow, Vince must really hate her. He had heat on her for the table not breaking a hell himself. Can you believe that? Because it's Sasha's fault. The table yeah, didn't break. You're, you're not heavy enough to break the table off. You're fired. There's just too many botched table spots. If Daffy Duck was a human being, he'd be Vince McMahon. Oh, God, he is insane enough. Your word. Pickable. <laughs> so, the thing is, though, Natty being eliminated second, it was a little surprised. I'm like, well, that kind of defeated the whole purpose of her being... I mean, she... <laughs> I'll do it. Was, I will take the ring to Mordor. And nope, you ended up like Boromir. <laughs> oh, man, it was just bad. But, so, you end up having Becky facing Bailey and Charlotte, and then Bailey got the win, and then Charlotte attacked her. So, Charlotte versus Bailey naturally is going to be the next feud. Uh, I have so little fucks to give when it comes to Charlotte. I do. Here's the thing when Charlotte's not scripted, you agree. When Charlotte is not scripted, in the Hell in a Cell match, she was better. She was better because they weren't scripting as much. Yeah. Hey, go out there and be a heel. Go out there and have fun. Go out there and, you know, tear it up with Sasha like they can. And they did. And I agree with you, though. No, I agree. I'm being a little loud. Sorry. But it was still really I'm fun. I'm Davis. <laughs> I did, I, you do. It was still really fun, though. Mm -hmm. But, yes, I agree with you. When, with Charlotte, the problem is that she's not. She's had the title too many times. They've hot potatoed it too many times. It's yeah. just not working. Yes, her undefeated streak on pay-per-view stands. Yeah, it needs to end whatever. soon. <laughs> well, I know, right? It needs to end at Mania. No, no later. Look upon the field in which I grow my fox. Lay thine eyes upon it, and thou shalt see that it is barren. It is barren. Now, what do you think of the women's match? I thought the finishes were too rushed. Yeah, it, it <clears throat> was supposed to be this long pay per view, but and they kind of botched that. They yeah. kind of botched that. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I give, I give credit to the women for putting yeah. in efforts. Every woman. But they botched it when this could have actually been a show stealing match. Yeah, it could have been. And they botched it. Plenty of opportunity. <clears throat> I mean But yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty, I suppose. This is true. I mean twenty ten in my case, because I see things crystal clear. No, I don't. My writing's will cut Chris. <clears throat> Chin puns from Gallows and Anderson. That was fantastic. Oh god. That was great stuff. I, we I, I we love puns. We love puns. So yeah, that was I good. would definitely love to hear their puns about the pin <laughs> again. <laughs> Miz versus Zane for the IC title. Okay, huge pop for Zane. Decently worked match. This was a good heel. Working on the knee. Does a horrible figure four. Needs to stop doing that. We're not going to talk much about this match because, of course, they had to screw over a screw over guy from Montreal in, in Canada. Canada. In, in Canada. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, come on. Come on, WWE. Stop doing that. First off, oh, the camera catches Maurice ringing the bell. Wait, did Maurice ring the bell? Good yeah. job covering, you idiot. We saw it. That's what you get for trusting the gangster love. <sighs> Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> He does that every time. Now I can't picture Maurice the same way. Um, and now you can't either. I have fun with that. Yeah, but I mean, it's just it was bad. The BS, it was a BS finish though. One, <laughs> this is the one match that where Raw should have won, in my opinion, and they didn't. And they had a chance, and they ruined it. Yeah, Zayn is a spectacular talent. Miz will always be annoying. He will always be annoying, and he will always be an average wrestler. He will be a great talker. He's not that heel people can root for. No, no. His only talent's on the mic. And, I mean, he's not the worst wrestler ever. I give him credit for overachieving as far as the 12 years he's had in WWE. That's not to say he's good. Honestly, the only wrestler I could picture him winning in a clean match would be Hornswoggle. 
be a short fight. Um, hey. So I would say the BS finish really brought it down. Not a bad, not a horrible match though. Yeah. Not a horrible, but Zayn should have won. Um, Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, the tag team, yeah, the tag team thing. Where you had Enzo. We're gonna run through this real quick. New days out. <clears throat> I know, right? Enzo Cash, Shining Stars, Sheamus Cesaro, Sheamus Gallows and Anderson first <laughs> New Day. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm broken. <laughs> Team SmackDown, Rhino and Slater, Brazongo, Hype Bros, Usos, Bros. American Alpha. Let me help you out with something. Until this came, to, really, it wasn't that great of a match. I was surprised to see New Day get eliminated. World, I'm, it's like, I'm like, what? What happened? Brazongo, why are they gay strippers? I mean, why? Why? I mean, the, Breeze. Hello, Thaler. I know. Breeze and Ben Angle are really talented. Yeah. Um, once it got down, and you and you and I agreed, once it got down to Sheamus versus Cesaro, or Sheamus Cesaro versus the Usos, they might as well just made that the match for brand supremacy because that was a yeah. great match. Have more of that. Have more great matches like that. I'm not saying have cross branding. It was less of an opportunity to break Sheamus and Cesaro apart, but to bring them together because yeah. you've got a potential that these are big guys who have different talents that could mix together well. Yeah, Cesaro is over with the fans and has wrestling ability, and right. Sheamus has his mohawk and a gigantic foot. Really glad you said foot there because I wasn't sure where you were going to go. Plus, um, I mean, he could totally do the solar flare. Solar flare! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my eyes! But, no, and then you had everybody diving where you... It's like everybody was Kappa. Nappa. Nappa? God damn it, Nappa. Yeah, I always screwed that up. I just started watching Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> if you knew anything about Japanese deities, a Kappa was not something you'd want to call someone. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, God, I just actually remember Googling that once. Oh, God. But that was it was good once it got down to that. Sheamus and Cesaro gained the win. Sharpshooter by Cesaro. Yeah. Paying homage to Tyson Kidd. Really cool. <clears throat> Poor Tyson Kidd will never step in the ring again, sadly. At least he's got his health. Um, good match though. Mm -hmm. Sheamus and Cesaro getting the final win. I wasn't mad about that one. Because mm -hmm. it was good stuff. It got better as it went along. Kendrick versus Kali Stereo. Um Cruiserweight title. I'm gonna call him that, by the way, from now on. First off, it was a decent match, but the crowd didn't care. And then you had Baron Corbin interfere. Because reasons. I mean, you had one chance. You had one job. Get the Cruiserweights to SmackDown where they're going to be featured better, and you blew it. You could... I would have had Corbin attack Kalisto first. Because then he would have beaten Kendrick, and you could have used the loophole. Kalisto beat Kendrick. Cruiserweights go to SmackDown. But Corbin's reasoning. You didn't want more guys like Kalis, uh, you know, Kalis Stereo there. Mate, I made Corbin. It's a lot like Vince McMahon. He only likes giants to be involved in his wrestling. Yeah, I made, I made, I made Corbin sound really racist there, didn't I? Was it a heightist or a heightist? I, yeah, I don't know the proper term for that. I don't. Tumblr will probably come up with about fifty of them. Urban um, Dictionary, it is. <laughs> Urban areas. Oh, that's so racist. Ducking. Um. So whatever. It. I just. <laughs> I just didn't. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't, I didn't like the end because I thought it was lame. The match wasn't great, but they tried. Yeah. And they hit some good moves. But just Corbin's interference killed it. And yeah. then you move to Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, the 5-on-5 five -five brand supremacy match. First off, it went for one hour. That was a, real, a damn good match. Yep. And that was uh, a damn good match. Boy, who called the end there? Oh, God. You know, I said Reigns would be the sole survivor, and... Bray. Yeah, Bray and Orton. Those By the good. power of my beard, I vote for the guy with the bigger beard. Glad you said beard. Um. So, anyway, Braun gained eliminated first on Raw. I mean, Ellsworth, and then Ellsworth died in that table spot. Yeah. It was fun, and then Rollins gained eliminated. I was like, boy, that was a hell of an arcade. Styles had a good showing. Ambrose got eliminated first. Styles and Ambrose are going to have their feud. Please blow off at TLC. Please, enough of this. We Why don't care <clears throat> about the Shield anymore. We don't. In the, Sh the Shield reunion... That's what I gotta say about that. I don't care. All you Shield fangirls and fanboys, wah, cry about it. Um, Welcome to storylines where you have to leave popular characters in the past. Yes. Yeah. You know they're gonna bring Hogan back soon, right? Oh, brother. No, no. I mean, I'm not, I'm not joking. By the way, they're actually gonna do that. Um, that table spot with Ellsworth is pretty nice. Put them up against the New Day. <laughs> have a team with New Day versus four guys at Mania 33. No, I'm serious. And watch. Have them team up with New Day. And then pin whoever see, it is. not racist. Yes. All oh, oh. those slurs. Conversations for later. Bray. Bray and Orton having that finish. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Bray hitting that where I'm just like, I was surprised. 
I was impressed. Team SmackDown won. That was good stuff. That and was they a gave Bray <clears throat> a much needed win and Roman a much needed loss. Rain. Because if you want to build him up, you got to destroy him first. JJF tweets said something similar to me, Jared. You were right, yeah. but you you summed it up. You got to break Reigns down. I don't even think you're going to get him over. By the way, I don't think the Reigns is nearly over enough with the fans, and he probably he, won't be. He needs to be a new character, much like <clears throat> a certain someone became Bray Wyatt, and that's a thing. So you're saying that once Bray stopped being husky, yes, lost some weight, he was okay. Yeah. Okay, I agree with you. I am fat and <clears throat> fluffy. That was those Latino damn. Anyway, that was good. I, I really enjoyed that brand supremacy match. Got great when it, it got great as it went along. It took like what 15 minutes before anybody got eliminated. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, that was good stuff. It was a well. I mean, it obviously had to drag <clears throat> on, but it was a well done match. I would say that's actually probably the best match of the year. If yeah. I had to, because main roster is not. Well, that's a standard. <clears throat> well, besides Owens and Zayn at Battleground, that's about it. So. Still good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we get to Goldberg versus Lesnar. It has taken us longer to talk about the Miz versus Zayn IC title match than it takes for than it took for this match to be done. The replays were longer than the match. It I am longer than the match. Two spears and a jackhammer. Yes. I Which sounds like a Sunday night. Um Oh hey, it's a Sunday night. Oh hi, Sunday night. So that was really cool. Um it was shocking. Here's my problem. It's like, okay, am I Am I shocked that Goldberg won? Yes, because I figured Lesnar would win. You, you call Goldberg winning. I'll give you credit. They did it for his kid. His kid looked happy. I'm not so sure. I heard rumors that his kid I might... I see it too. The future. <laughs> I have to stop you from killing my race. In the future. <laughs> Shout out to Team Four Star because you guys Shut are awesome. Jeez, Team Four Star. You, you, you made me laugh uncontrollably at work. You made me laugh uncontrollably at work now, by the way. It's like, but that, God damn it, Chris. Um... <clears throat> That match, though, I'm like watching. I'm like, okay, here's my question. Lesnar beat the streak and went on this huge run. Hadn't been pinned clean or hadn't been pinned, period, since 2013. Only lost once to take her. Mm -hmm. That whole botch thing at SummerSlam that was last year, that was bad. Um, okay, here's the thing. Now, Goldberg never worked a long match really without the proper guy. Carry him, DDP, yeah. The Rock, as a couple in general. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know. It was shocking. I can, I can absolutely <clears throat> picture them bringing Goldberg back for WrestleMania because they announced Undertaker. Well, what's there to say about having <laughs> two people with famous streaks in, in their career going up against the guy who tried to break both of them? I mean, triple threat wouldn't be bad. I It'd would... be Grumpy Old Men 7. <laughs> Better than 17. Almost old enough. Um, that... That, though, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that match. I know, that was weird. Yeah, um, that was... It was a... Yeah, I am weird. That was still a fun match. It was shocking, but I don't know if it... I'm not a Lesnar fan by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not saying that Lesnar shouldn't have lost. Not that you... It, at some point. But Goldberg? I mean, really? Yeah. So you're going to have it be where Goldberg's the one guy that Lesnar can't beat. I mean, really? The guy that couldn't... The guy that was no good for for more than a five-minute match? Yeah. I mean, whatever. Hey, if Goldberg's kid is happy, his wife is happy, Goldberg's happy, and Lesnar agreed to it, fine. Lesnar's getting paid millions anyway to do nothing, so whatever. <laughs> God, that's right. I mean, I mean, I'm not wrong, but here's my problem. Lesnar has made sporadic appearances, but still has made more appearances than Goldberg has on WWE TV since 2004. Yep. And Goldberg has been, gone out of his way to slam Vince, slam WWE, yeah. in interviews in the past. But I and now all of a sudden... I can also see that if they made Goldberg lose that match, that there would be a very big decrease in popularity because you saw those people were still devoted to the now far defunct WCW. And, I miss and, WCW. And to, Goldberg, and to Goldberg in general. Yeah. Which, yeah. if they made him lose, it would be bad for business. I mean... I mean, I get, I don't know. Maybe Lesnar pissed somebody off. Maybe Lesnar decided to leave. It was an impressive jackhammer. Though. It was no, no. It was. It was two impressive spears, an impressive jackhammer. I am surprised. Lesnar about two seventy, two seventy five. I'm impressed. You're but also, you're also thinking he was going to be facing off against Roman at some point. Battle I of think, the spears. Yeah, I think at some point it will be at such a desperate attempt to get Reigns over. By the way, I hope Reigns is okay after spiking himself on that spear <laughs> to Shane. 
Um, Shane, stop doing, stop well, wrestling. Shane, stop wrestling, please. Um, and I hope Shane's okay, by the way. But I don't know. I just, I get, I get where you're coming from. And yes, they will. Pro- they are rumored to be wanting to be do Reigns versus uh, Goldberg yeah. at Mania. I've, see, I've heard worse ideas. Goldberg may go into the WWE Hall of Fame. Put Vader in the WWE Hall of Fame. The man's got less than two years to live. Oh, sorry. Chris, God damn it. <laughs> yes, put Darth- I think he wants a cookie. Do you want a cookie? <laughs> and on that note, folks, um, what do you, I will say this. I will say I will say Survivor Series is a B-. minus. I will say it's a B- minus because they had a lot of botched stuff with the first four matches. That's right. They had potential, but they botched a lot of it. The, main, the co-main event, the 5-on-5 five five match was very fun, mm-hmm. very good, 10 out of 10, easily. Goldberg versus Lesnar was shock value, but still, for all they hyped it, I'm like, that's it? That's it? <laughs> Weeks of promos. Endless, endless repeats of said promos, and then... I mean, I think... Goldberg, one, yeah. two, three, three strikes, you're out. At the old bird. Blue Jays game. The old Berg game. I like that. <laughs> On that note, folks, so what do you give it? I'd, I'd give it a B. I, I was very much happy with the way Bray actually got the win. Agreed. I mean, agreed. That's part. That's actually part of it. You know what? I'll actually, I'll actually up it to a B because Bray got the win. Yeah. I'll actually up it to a B. It's something that they need because Bray is a spectacular talent. He he really is, and they botched a lot of it. WrestleMania 30. Hi, Cena. Um, they did a little bit. So, I enjoy. You really can't see him now. So, I enjoyed it. Not, not the best Survivor Series ever. Certainly better than last year's, I'll give him that. Uh, because we didn't have Reigns Victorious. So, anyway, that is what the review was. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like My Twitter link is in the description. I don't, I think he's doing cross-check at all, you know, points. Um, and this has been Real Honesty with John Rithlin. I am John Rithlin, and that is a goddamn Batman. Well, okay. No, I'm Chris. I mean, you could be Batman. See you, folks.